Howdy y'all, and welcome back to I Am A Champion Paralympics Edition. So today is probably gonna be my last I Am A Champion Paralympics Edition video for you. Um, but I wanted to share some facts and figures that I found really, really cool about being able to watch these Paralympics and Olympics with you. I had to write them down, so sorry if I looked down to them. Um, so I found the Paralympics really amazing to be able to watch, and there are some huge differences that were pretty glaring while I was watching Olympics and then Paralympics, thanks to my friend with cable. Yay! Um, okay, so first of all, here's some, here's some figures for you of Olympics versus Paralympics. First of all, did you know that the Paralympic, the word Paralympic, does not actually refer to paralysis at all. It actually just means uh, another form of Olympics or similar to Olympics. So all it means is it parallels the Olympics. That's all. It has nothing to do with paralysis or lack of being able to play or anything like that. All it means is parallel. Aha! Uh -huh. So that was actually news to me. Secondly, uh, in the Olympics, there were 2,922 athletes from 92 different nations. In the Paralympics, there were 569 athletes from 49 nations. Now, right there, that's a huge difference. Uh, events, the Olympics had 102 events in 15 different sports. Now, I'll get back to what the different sports means in a second. That was 102 events in 15 sports. Paralympics, had 80 events in six different sports. So what are sports when we're talking about the Olympics or Paralympics? Well, in, in Olympics, we have skating, we have a bunch of different things that, I, I didn't look up all of their categories, but Paralympics, the different sports, alpine skiing, which includes slalom and basically anything downhill. Again, downhill is its own term, but for the novices out there to Olympics, I'll just say downhill because it's easier to understand. Alpine skiing, para ice hockey, uh, so sled hockey basically. Nordic skiing, which includes biathlon and cross country, they are kind of their own or uh, their own deal, but not. Wheelchair curling and para snowboarding. So within all of those categories, there are more categories. So even though those were six different sports that I mentioned, they have their own breakdowns of their own individual sports within their sports. Uh, so there were 80 events in all of those different disciplines and sports. U.S., our, our country, had uh, 241 athletes in the Olympics. We won 23 medals this year in the Olympics. Probably because we become such a big nation to beat that everyone kind of upped their game. And I mean, at least that's my take on it. Paralympics was pretty awesome though, because for the US athletes, this was a huge uh, medal take home. We had only 68 athletes. Did you catch that? From 241 in the Olympics to 68 in the Paralympics. And we won 36 medals. That's more than half of the amount of athletes that we had in the Paralympics. So our Paralympians are pretty much boss. They're pretty awesome. And it was really amazing to get to see some people really make some history for their states, for their countries. I got to watch uh, Croatia win their first Paralympic winter medals ever. They won a bronze. I know if you're on my Facebook, you already know this probably, but they won a bronze in the snowboarding event. I don't remember exactly which one offhand, but I know they won in the snowboarding and then they won again, they won a gold for one of the Alpine events. Oh, it was so awesome to get to watch this. It was their first ever for Winter Paralympics. Go Croatia, that's where some of my family is from, so it was pretty awesome to see. It was also great to get to see, uh, Korea did win three medals this year. I don't really know which ones they won, won them in because they weren't all in sports that I watched, but I know that one of them was hockey. 
uh, watching the sled hockey was pretty pretty sweet to which to watch the Canada versus US the last uh, what do they call their innings no they're not innings I'm sorry now you know I'm not a hockey person uh, <laughs> period their last period was pretty amazing if you didn't get to see it it was pretty epic I'm not even a hockey person obviously because I didn't even know the terms um, but yeah, so it was great to get to see some of these countries really come into their own and grab some, uh, bring home some medals for their countries. Some athletes making some history by being the first to medal in the category. This year in the Olympics, we had the women bringing home not only a medal for the first time ever in biathlon, but bringing home a gold medal in biathlon. And then in Paralympics, the women, the first event that we had in the Paralympics was the women's biathlon and they go home and win two medals in the first event. And one of those gals who had suffered an elbow injury, I believe it was a dislocation only two weeks before the Paralympics goes on and wins three more medals, including at least one, I believe two gold medals. And she ended up being the flag bearer. Both in the Olympics and the Paralympics, the closing ceremony flag bearer was one of the women's team's biathlon athletes. It's pretty awesome. Um, I had a blast watching it. Another thing that I kind of touched on in one of my previous videos about the Paralympics uh, versus the Olympics is that their emblem is different. Uh, sometimes I've called it a symbol, so I don't know if I called it a symbol or an emblem. But basically, this is the Olympic, the Olympic rings everyone is used to is the Olympic emblem. And the Paralympics have a swooshing emblem that is quite different from the Olympic rings. Now, the reason for the difference of this is, first of all, they're a different game. They have their own committee. They have their own uh, set of rules, set of ways of doing their sport. So they're not the same, so they need their own emblem. They need their own symbol, whatever you want to call it, trademark that is theirs. Uh, the Paralympic emblem is pretty new. I believe it's only been around for a few Paralympics. The emblem that is now today's official Olympic emblem. Uh, sorry, Paralympic emblem. They're quite different. They have only three symbols instead of the five rings. They have three. Part of this was due to an issue with the, the Olympics themselves. They, the IOC did not want them to be too similar to the Olympic emblem. So they pared down from five to three. I honestly don't really know why they chose three except for that reason. I couldn't find any other information on that except that there was an issue with uh, the Olympic Committee and the Paralympic Committee on the emblem being too similar. So the five Olympic rings being in five different countries at the time, uh, colors, sorry, represented the five different continents and all the colors that were on all of the flags so everyone could be represented within the Olympic symbol, emblem. Although this one's all white, but most people know that there are five different colors and they're set against a white background. Thus, I'm sorry, my hair is driving me nuts because of the wind. Thus, five different colors, but technically it's six if you count the white background. So the Paralympics, when they were told they couldn't be too similar to the Olympic emblem, they chose the three, four if you count the white background, most popular colors found in most flags that were competing. So uh, the other interesting thing is the symbol within their, their emblem. So these are rings. They don't use rings. They use what are called agitos. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right because I'm not sure which country it's from. Although I do know it has a Latin root to it. And it means I move. So if you get to see what the uh, Paralympic emblem is, if I get a chance, I will try to put it in the description below. Um, it's very different from the Olympic emblem, but it's actually kind of cool on its own, especially when you realize that they have the term I mean set, uh, I mean, I move set within their emblem, and it's all about the movement and being able to participate and be one. Um, they also thought about how to keep them all meeting at a central point to represent everyone all coming together to uh, celebrate movement and 
abilities instead of disabilities. So I found it pretty neat. Um, I have been really enjoying it. I am super grateful I got to watch. For any of you watching out there right now, if you are still tuned in, um, please, please, please check your local listings this weekend. It should be uh, NBC around 10 o'clock Pacific, 1 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, a highlight reel, I believe it's around two hours long, of the Paralympics should be airing. So please, please, please check it out. Tell your friends to check it out. The more ratings we get, maybe we'll actually see them airing more Paralympics in the future on network television. Please, please, please. This would be so awesome. So um, thanks for coming with me on this journey. And uh, I have to go now. It's been 11 minutes almost. <laughs> Love y'all. Thanks for keeping up with me. Go out there and be a champion. Bye.